A James Island church community is working to pick up the pieces after an early morning fire. Much of the Fort Johnson Baptist Church sanctuary was destroyed. And while the church's pastor and members say it was a devastating morning, they're excited to rebuild through the community of faith. It's a hard day, but we are going to get through this. <laughs> Overwhelmed, a little sad. Uh, there are a lot of people who have memories here. The Fort Johnson Baptist Church has remained open through COVID-19. Members say its sanctuary holds more than just Sunday service. Fort Johnson Baptist Church was open when a lot of churches weren't, and that gave me hope, and I know it gave others hope. So It's a place that we can come when a lot of the, the world is kind of heavy right now. Pastor Marty Middleton says the church was struck by lightning Wednesday night and likely smoldered overnight before catching fire. We saw the smoke coming out and we just immediately got everybody out. Seeing that everyone was safe um, and that, that the building, although it was on fire, um, realizing that that buildings can be replaced kind of gave a sense of calm. The church likely a total loss left with a collapsed roof and rain pouring in. Pastor Middleton says he's been overwhelmed with support coming in the form of texts, calls, and food. It's one of those where you wonder a few days ago, can anything else happen? And then you get a phone call at 8.15 this morning, hey, your church steeple is on fire. Now the church community rising from the ashes to rebuild stronger than ever before. Uh, I've been thinking through how we can kind of rebuild after COVID and after the pandemic. And now we have a physical sense of rebuilding. I think it'll really put an exclamation point on what's happening. We just have to stick together and just look for the positive because there, there is something that can come out of this. Not sure what it is right now, but there's something that can come out of it. Now, Pastor Middleton says the church has a large gym they plan to set up and use for church service this Sunday morning while working through the rebuild.